I have made a mistake. I did a recording and I didn't actually record. So we have a good hour gap or so in what happened between this and last episode. To sum it up, Frankia grew, I didn't die, lots of rebellions, all survived, children exist, this is our heir. Yeah, <laughs> that's really it. We have our spouse. We are going to lots and lots of parties, uh, becoming a legendary reveler, as you can see here. Um, we might still take another lover, uh, just to make sure that, well, we potentially get another child. We are 42 now, but if you check, our youngest here is uh, zero, so we just had this kid. I don't really see much of a reason why there shouldn't be another kid. I've been also trying to deal with schemes a little bit more, but that hasn't really yielded much of what I wanted, especially not for uh, getting the achievement on having three strong hooks on direct vassals. Um, factions have not really been an issue since we killed the first, and I don't actually know if you were there for that. Uh, I think it was in, in last episode that I actually uploaded because I recorded it and I could upload it, which was called Ill Prepared. Um, I have also internally for myself kind of excited, uh, decided that I'm not going to go for painting the whole map. I just, I've never cared for that in Crusader Kings ever because that's not what it is about for me. So, um, yeah, if my vassals keep painting, that's wonderful. We will take, if we can get something big, um, lose some money, we have more of that, but I'm not going to try and absolutely push for things. We did take out a huge chunk here, uh, out of the Byzantines, however, our, uh, vassals grow in numbers, so, hmm. Self-declared divine right. Yeah, that's right. So let's just, let's see if we can't do anything interesting here. We have unlocked a martial lifestyle perk. Love that. So less maintenance, cool stuff. Tartaria, we have never been at war with you because we've never actually been anywhere close. We could take this du jour land or oof, we could do a holy war for a kingdom because we haven't actually done that yet. So let's check what could we get. Kingdom of Volga Bulgaria. That would be a good big chunk out of Tataria. So I feel that would be kind of cool. Plus they're, f nah, they're not really strong. Okay, let's uh, do it. Let's do it, and we'll walk all over the Byzantines to get it. Uh, so we're taking for this, meaning we will raise our very soft boys over here. The hardest soft boys you will ever do see. And let's raise a few more than we actually need. Just make sure we have around 20,000, uh, 20, 25,000, something like that. There was a faction created against us, as if we care. Yeah, 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 stop, stop, start moving. Okay, so we can't take on more supplies because we simply have nowhere where we could even support 30,000 to begin with. So we will put a logistician in there. So we add to the supply duration. That's really what we want because we are going to cross a bit of a area out here. Honestly, we might as well lead ourselves because I think, yeah, we're also a military engineer. So let us do this. They will probably at some point come for us, but uh, we have a lot of territory to cover with sieges, so we'll just 
fight our way eastward. And thus we trap in the vestiges of the Byzantine Empire, which will slowly but surely be fully absorbed. Uh, I am going to give this kingdom to someone that we already have. Okay, our... Not our heir, so we don't really care. He can be zealous, that's okay. Doesn't matter too much. Ugh. Okay, so Catholicism again with the empty threats. It's, uh... It's a wee bit of a joke. I'm not spending this because I uh, want to go up here. Inherited tactics. Because quite honest, we are playing with inherited tactics. Oh no, those are, for once, not, not the ones we're fighting. See if they actually pop up anywhere. So far I haven't seen a single Tatar. I want to see unit composition anyway. Light horse. Nothing super impressive. So we shan't be worried. <clears throat> However, the supplies are actually a little bit disconcerting. Ah, someone tried to kill us. Princess Judith. And she shall go to prison for that. And there she will stay. Uh, is this siege happening or not? I can't tell which makes me a little bit uneasy. Ah, there we go. Well, let's go up there. Should maybe... No, 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 we don't need to go there. That's not part of what we're coming for. So we're not going to go there. We need to conserve our rations. Ooh. Can't do a disco. Am I actually recording? Yeah, I'm actually recording. It's important to me to check now because... Not only did I lose an hour, you also lost an hour with me. That's all you're coming here for, right? All you want out of me. My time. My thoughts. And my heart. And my body. Okay, but we have identified the enemy army, which is fastly approaching. And we will have... It's not the fairest fight in the world, but certainly not ultra unfair. I wonder how long it will take for these graphics to kind of start looking dated again. Which is funny because they're not all that impressive to begin with. But they're definitely better than they have been. Also, people are still trying to very much kill us. And there's a lot of them trying to do it. We'll see. So the enemy should be somewhere here. I'm feeling we're going to find them. There they are. Okay, they're... Oh, they're going there. We'll just try and follow them. To potentially force battle. Lose a bunch of men here. Maybe this is where they will make their stand. No, it actually isn't. Then we... Yeah, okay, fine. Let's go here. 
and we can cut them off like this. Well, I mean, they're not cut off in the sense that I meant. Like, I wanted them to cross, and then we would cross as well. Not ideal. Not terrible. Let's go get Bulgar territory then. These are step territories already. I grant all the divorces. Trust you. Trust you, me. Not a divorce in the world I will not grant. Or maybe. Never say never. Maybe we get to see the... Supply thing. In action at some point. Alright, come on. Have battle. Let's join forces. Very good. They have decided that in the tiger here, they will face my men. And me personally as well on top. So let us see who wins. Emperor Yerkop. Or the Empress of Frankia. Ah, uh, well, that was deeply unfortunate for the dear emperor there. Okay, and since this is the holy war, we have, of course, gained all of these things. Let's, uh, let's grant a few titles here, shall we? So he gets this and that. And he gets this and that. And he gets this and this and that. And he gets this, this and this. And the youngest doesn't actually get anything. But this one gets something. Just because I feel like it. And we're definitely over our vast limit, which is no big surprise. So what... Uh, this is what we want. Can we create this too? Lovely. Olga Ural. Oh. And the Kingdom of Volga Bulgaria we will give to I think Valachia or look for a smallish one. Great Moravia. Great Moravia. But he is not of our dynasty. She is. You don't get the empire. That means she becomes independent. Now you will become this. Volga Bulgaria. Moonlit walk sounds great. And Count Hans becomes our lover. Uh, I don't care. Say hey, whatever you want. Right, and we're still above the direct vassal limit, which I don't think we actually are. Are we? Count Hunts becomes our... Nope. Marshal of life experience. Go away with that.
Oh no, the crusade has begun. How oh, terrible these news of war on our front door. Whatever will we do, however will we cope? Oh, they're pretty big back there still. How are we allied in a war? They are defending against the Pope. What? Why would you help me? You silly kid. You silly, silly kid. Why is everyone here helping me all of a sudden? What's not, what's wrong with you people? Should we do this? Ah. It'll get taken or not. Okay, the game has realized that we indeed do not have 50 million extra vassals because we are prudent and making our kings stronger out here oh now a faction against us however could that happen i am not too worried so at this point in time i think we can just speed up a good solid amount because between successions there's just not there's just not a lot that's gonna happen really what well, I'm think should we resurrect Catholicism ah I want my equal rights Sure, we will stop being rivals and you stay in prison. That is the deal. Uh, oh, we can usurp the Byzantine Empire. Question is, do we want that? I mean, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Maybe we can change the succession laws for it to be not weird. I might die. That was a very, you are about to die message. So what wars are you in? Oh, we become melancholic. Fertility, minus 10%. Moderate health penalty. Ah. Lots of bad stuffs. Us found university. Your wars aren't going too great. Also, the game doesn't seem to be running all that amazing either. Practiced field surgery, sure, let's help the poor lady. What titles? Anything cool I missed? Lots and lots of duchies. Yeah, sure. We're just waiting for this dude to lose all his wars. The chess Sophia. Too much stuff in the way. What are you fighting here? Do you see anything being highlighted? Yeah, it's, it's down here. D6. 
these are fighting the Byzantines. And these are now as well. White Roost, that's our own. I think uh, we might not actually need to usurp anything because if this keeps going, the Byzantines are going to be gone in just a little bit. No. Our servants are so thankful. Hey! Actually, winning a war, sort of. So right now we're just watching the Byzantine Empire fall to pieces. One war lost. Losing a bit up here. To White Rus. They still fight. They are also now losing against Pontus. I mean, they're done. There's nothing left for them. No, our husband would never disrespect the sanctity of the marriage. Mariage. Okay, he has disputed heritage, which is fantastic for an heir. Who is actually... Yeah, apparently I am educating you, so that's... Good job there. Good job us. Good job everyone. Let's move back and watch the Byzantines be disintegrated from the outside. Dare we speed it up a little bit more? We dare. Our lover, the king, has created a new cadet branch. This we will never be able to send. Hold the feast. And they started another war against Permia. Lose 49 stress because we are drunkard. Yeah. Spend money. Let's listen to our dear son a little bit more. Form an intimate relationship there. The, the little bear. I remember the bear being part of ours. These are also ours. Yeah, it's 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 pretty much now the bear isn't actually ours. They're part of Tatarium. The Frisia is ours. City of Vishkorod. Have it. These are ours. These are definitely ours. It's a count. No, it's a king. Ah, oh, they're winning against that. I'll never be able to usurp that title. They will forever be in war until they are eradicated. That's all I'm waiting for now. Winning against Perm. How are you winning against Perm? It's halfway equal. 
I just found out that you can move the speed with the 1 to 5 key. That's pretty cool. Didn't notice that. Never tried, but there you go. How many hours in? Almost 60. That's a true Crusader Kings game for you. He's still figuring out things out. So where is he? Thing. Can you just give up, my man? I would like to offer vassalization, but... I don't think he's gonna take it. Jail! Is he good? Yeah, the alternative is all that much better, so we'll do this. Huh? All of our rivals are dropping dead again, and I'm not even killing them. Oh, we get another one. Aggressive attacker, unyielding defender, or flexible leader. Personally, I like flexible leader, but let's see. I think we're gonna go with that or yeah flexible leader I like that and there we go we have died uh, let's slow down a little bit for the transition period Pope Sarah of Parisian years papacy has found peace in Christ and praise at the age of 50 years she died of unknown causes a zealous woman she fought for the glory of good against her uh, Pope Andrew ascends to the throne look at his little cap oh um, he's sure to be admired by all his subjects. And it is 1402 now, so I expect if everything were works uh, well. Why have I lost patronage of those holy orders? Huh. I don't know. Uh, let's. We definitely have a temple somewhere, don't we? Maybe at home? No? I don't hold some weird temple? There. Oop, done. Um, okay, council. Uh, you are not good at anything else, so you will be this. And... Oh my god. 36, look at that. And... Yeah, you're fair enough. You will not do, I'm quite sorry. And none of the powerfuls do either. Okay, so we betrothed to her for unknown reasons. How old is she? 13. Not an ideal match. Okay, let's uh, get us an educator. And what, pray tell, should we go? I want to go for learning for once. We don't really have anyone good for learning. She'll do. She'll do. Now we will have to deal with lots and lots of factions again. Oh, mother did not reign very long. So let us return to our favorite pastime. Oh! Hello! We can strengthen the bloodline. That is so cool. I, I didn't have... No, we haven't had that yet. So what does it do? Vigor, beauty, and intellect are proof of the bloodline strength. The dynasty thus blessed will pass the gifts from generation to generation. 
So we get strong blood. Health, small boost, congenital traits, new good congenital traits, 400%. Strengthen the bloodline. For generations, our dynasty has been known for the strength of its blood. Vigor, beauty, and intellect are all attributes associated with the millennial name. My own excellence only confirms this at the age of seven. All of our dynasty's best qualities in one perfect individual. My name and my gifts will live on through the descendants for centuries to come. He's like looking away. He's like, oh, come on, kid. Get a grip. You're just a boy. Oh, we are known as the blood father. Come on now. Pope Andrew the blood father. Here we go. And he, of course, has uh, disputed territory. <laughs> He's the right guy for that. Okay, what, what, I mean, where does it actually play in? Do we get like a cool trade for it or? Where does that go? Hmm. Our Chancellor died. Oh, look at him. 43. My goodness. What a beast. And if you scrunch your nose at me one more time, little lady, I will find someone better. Potentially. So where do I know about our strength and bloodline? I do wonder. <sighs> okay, let's find a really good... Let's find a really good person. To educate us. Hello, there are a bunch of really good people for this. Let's find someone who's more virtuous than anything. Chaste, ambitious, and calm. He's fantastic. Um, offer guardianship. Uh, I would like to offer myself as a guardian. Where is my current guardian? Remove guardian. Okay. Which one was it? Sweden? No. Someone up here. Denmark. Him. Yeah. Of a ward. There we go. Me? For you? And he totally accepts. Excellent. And I have a gift for you. And I would like you to convert now. So he doesn't infect us with weird ideas because he's really good he's all sorts of good things except for having the great pox and he's a homosexual it's not it's not all cherries and peach pie but we take the good with the bad let's check our factions and see who's trying to kill us and there is indeed a faction ready to go and this here the kingdom of Thessalonikia, which was strengthened throughout the ages is now ready to balk at us but we are ready to immediately throw our troops right at them guess what Four months. Three months. Okay, two months, so... We will start raising our troops, as it takes two months to get them ready. Uh, 
And we'll immediately jump on Thessalonikia. Take them out as they stand. Uh, yeah. Come on, declare. I dare you. There we go. I will not be threatened. I am the Blood Father. How dare you? And we have no command available. We got this guy. Come on, move! We want to catch them in the act of trying to prepare war. Now, move. Okay, then... Okay, that actually wasn't worthwhile. Or... We do have to check on... Uh... On our home base, really. Because they are probably coming for Paris. That's our ungrateful little counts. Okay, so should we become arrogant or... Com oh, let's go for compassionate. Dread decay plus 100%, natural dread entry goes down. Okay, we will be compassionate. The Blood Father will have compassion for his foes. Um. Okay. 15 months. Right, so now we go back home, raise everyone back here again. And we got enough to dual stuff, so we will raise the rest now, all standing around. Above vassal limit, ah, come on. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That's, that's fine. What exactly are we fighting for anyway? Russia. But I am in the absolute wrong place for all of this. Good on me. Um... And stop gathering and stand them down. Eh, let me. I'm not doing good. Come on, win. So I can stand you down and make a little bit of a better decision. Okay. So over here is where we war. Let's move our rally point there and rally our troops here. Oh yes, come, fight me. Fight me, bro. Dare you, I double dog dare you. You will suffer defeat, such a defeat you have never, never suffered. Oh, glory is wildly known. Okay, 83,000 should be enough against this foolish rebellion of a took. 
There they are. Let's go. Before they really rally. Ah! Sorry, what? It is no longer valid to continue. Well, <laughs> that's... <laughs> well done, Rebels. Well done. Uh, let me see. All you fools. No, actually, they're not disallowed from. Okay, we'll just see what happens. How am I above with one? I didn't even get a new vassal. That's silly. Can I increase my vassal limit with this? Nah. No. Not really. Oh well. All right, that that was fun. So um, we have strengthened our bloodline. We will soon be able to do this. Uh, very soon, indeed. Our next month soon. Let's wait for that. Real quick. Now we can. So we go for inherited tactics, giving us a plus five advantage. Very good. And I still don't really fully understand how I'm above that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and see you around next time. Bye-bye.